Hi, my name is Bill Phillips. I'm a cave diving explorer and cave diving instructor living in Mexico since the early 1990s. What I'd like to talk to you about today is navigating the caves with a newly developed non-directional marker called a referencing exit marker or REM or REM for short. In the early 2000s we had a history of cave diving fatalities here that had a single common thread, navigation, navigational errors, um, divers having the inability to find their way back out of the cave. As a result, um, we found, looking at the contributing factors, complexity of the navigation we have here, lack of flow, which could also assist in a diver's exit, as well as the um, multiple teams in a cave at a particular time. And finally, the unfortunate reality of line arrow vandalism, alteration, and even guideline changes. So the end result was making it increasingly difficult for us local divers to guide, teach, and navigate our own exits to the cave. So, what we did was we developed something called a referencing exit marker which has also been called a smart cookie because it has an ability to indicate a direction unlike any other non-directional markers. Okay, If we look at one of these markers we see that it has a rectangular shape with cutouts that are consistent with normal line arrows so they can be married together and carried on a carrying device which I'm showing you here we'll talk about in a moment okay okay so we see a close-up view of the rem itself and we see that there's an identifier side both tactile and visual which is built on the combination of the color the shape of the sticker as well as the embossment or the tactile engraving in this case they can be numbered and of course the user's name should be written as well so that it's a positive identification. On the edge we see a small cutout and that's where the guideline is essentially locked in to prevent it from coming off the guideline. And of course on the reverse side it's completely blank. We have a mini slate here which things can be written on while, during the dive or prior to emergency protocols, etc. So really, when we get them, they come blank like this, and they're included with some tape, and you can treat them how you wish to make that positive identification. In any case, back to the rim, we see it's got a tiny little notch on the side, and that's where the guideline will lock on when we apply this to the guideline. And the reason being, if you were to lock it in any other way, it will use too much guideline, and there may not be the proper tension on the guideline in order to insert it. Okay, but aside from that, it's very similar, and that's essentially how it works. Okay, so when we look at the navigation kit, which is this thick rubber tubing that's applied on a stainless steel clip with the ring that's been removed, no glue, no tie cable ties, no string, nothing to fail and we have a piece of solid graphite that's inserted in the opposite end which becomes a writing tool and it never needs sharpening it's always available and you can actually write on your markers on the blank side or what we call the mini slate okay so together these components are called the navigation kit because they hold your directional markers they hold your rems and they provide it a writing tool so that it's all complete and accessible when you want to apply or use one you can use them together and it's all simple okay now um, one of the interesting things with the rem has been called a smart cookie because it's not just a circular disk without any directional requirement which is actually important with a non-directional marker of course is that it doesn't show a direction permanent markers that are in the cave at all times are the system markers. They're the road signs that all cave divers share to reference the nearest exit. Very important. Okay. Now, should divers want to reinforce their exit, 
be it in a different direction than the line arrow shows, or just be it that they want to mark a distance at a time and a gas supply to the exit, they can put down a non-directional marker. In this case, the rem can be positioned on the guideline independently of arrows or tie-offs, which makes it a very more flexible and useful tool than a simple clothespin or cookie device. Okay, so this can be positioned with the positive identifier and the slate side indicating one specific direction or the other. Positioning the rim on the guideline is quite simple. Put the rim underneath the guideline and then place the guideline through the cutouts. You'll notice that the string is on top of the reflector tape here, or the identifier side. Then we lock the guideline through the hatch on the side and the back and now it's in position. You notice that the guideline is on the identifier side and the mini slate side is left open for writing on. So the main features that we're seeing here that are unique to this device is the positive identification and the ability to be used in a much more flexible manner with or without affecting the guidelines or the permanent markers. So that brings a close to the presentation on the referencing exit marker. I hope you find this beneficial and making your cave diving more safe and positive experience.